Mark, what a performance to secure National League safety for another year. Yeah, a, fa a fantastic way to do it and I'm so pleased for the boys to show that quality performance against quality opposition. You know, Notts County is some team, they're banging form at the moment, a of great players. You know, great management team, play a lovely, fantastic brand of football and we, we, we had to be tactically spot on today and, and, and the boys delivered that perfectly today. The, you know, the fight and the endeavour was there to, all to see, but the tactical awareness and the game plan, the way they executed it, was, was fantastic. Under the most pressure as well. We've, the, the group have been, we've all been under a huge amount of pressure all season and it's a, it's a tough weight to carry all the time, especially for a young group. But we always believed in the work and the process, and um, it, it, it's come through today. And uh, you know, we never look for excuses or make make them. But it, it's been tough at times. There's been a lot of things going on you know, behind. Not many has happened to many other teams in our league. You know, with the you know, but but we we held firm, and that that group come through in the end. And we spoke about it that. You know, never staying down when people doubt you and going through those hardships makes you and builds character and builds togetherness. And you could see the bonds out there today in that group and what they were doing for the shirt. And yes, we've been frustrating at times this season. Yes, I've got a lot wrong. But what we haven't done, we've never gone short on each other. We've never not been prepared. We've never had a rationale behind the way that we work and what we do. And, um, you know, fortunately that, that work come through. And uh, yeah, I know. Should we be celebrating staying up? Some people think no. I think yes, because of what's gone on. And this season could have been a hell of a lot worse. This this league will catch you out. It's, it, you know, it, it's kicked on. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, a roller coaster ride, but one that I'm glad we've got over the line and um, we can build on those experiences. When you came in, the minimum target was to stay up, you know, bring a, a competitive side. So to do that with a few games to go is credit to you and credit to the staff that come in. No, credit to the, to the staff. You know, they've worked tirelessly. Um, I demand so much and I, I demand a lot from the players as well. And, uh, you know, when you're trying to build an environment and a culture, um, sometimes that takes, that takes time. And we've seen the feast and we've seen the famine and we've seen the ups and downs. And that's carried... You know, that's characteristic of a of a young group and an inexperienced group, which it's been for large spells. You know, we've we've had a lot go on. You know, with players and we've had five goalkeepers. Our goal scorer left in in January. We've had uh, you know lots of loans coming in and out. And uh, but to build that togetherness and uh, that camaraderie, but that that comes through going through hardship together. That's how it's built. And you know, we always spoke about. You know, the tough times, it was always hard coming to speak to you after games like that and you, you're asking people to keep the faith and keep believing. And I always believed in the work, I always believed in my staff and my players that we would, we would come through and we did. And, you know, we've, we've just got to build on that now and use that as experience for next year and uh, use it as a foundation to, to, really, to really build on now. Reflect on the game itself, obviously you made one change, Tommy came in for Sinclair. Clearly, a, a wise decision given the impact both players had today. What was the thinking before that, prior to the game? Yeah, I think I I wanted to end the game with Sinclair rather than start the game. Um, we, obviously, the Monday game as well, and we need you know he's just come back, um, so I felt that that would that would work best when the game was open for Sinclair. Um, Tommy's had a a great season for such a young man to go through the tough times with the with the group and to have as many appearances as he had and. Like I said, it, it gets tough during those times and he had no experience really to draw on of men's football or anything and he's, he's had the highs and the lows but throughout it all, I think he's been a real bright spark and uh, you know, his work rate was there. We had a, you know, we had a good chat in the week um, with him and um, the way he responded today I think was testament to him. There was tests throughout the game as well, obviously, you know, conceding the penalty as well, that maybe wasn't a penalty, you know, Notts County continued to push, but to fight back, get the early goal and then get an extra third goal with Sinclair's brilliant finish is credit to the boys out there today. Oh, full, full credit to the boys, their tactical awareness, um, their hard work, you know, you don't beat Notts County without running your socks off because they keep the ball so well, we've got an array of players, but the way that we, um, you know, nullified them, but then also countered on them, you know, I mean, we saw that against Bromley and we saw that again today and uh, you know up, up lost my words again eh, for the first time I mean but yeah but for a few cynical fouls um, you know we we broke through quite a few times you know actually one on one Tommy one on one keeper made some great saves and and a few cynical fouls to stop it stop us going through again so um, yeah full credit to the boys they the the endeavor that they've shown under the pressure 
and uh, the adversity that we've gone through already will we'll, we'll serve them in their life, not just football, but will serve them well for the, for the rest of their lives. It's an emotional day, isn't it? You said it, you know, maybe some people would say we shouldn't be celebrating staying up, but with everything that's happened, as you mentioned, throughout the season, it's credit to everyone involved today, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Like, you know, I said I'm not going to list excuses and come up with things, that's not the way that we work, but, yeah, I don't think too many other people have had the turbulent season that, that we've had uh, in terms of just things going wrong, you know, almost like unlucky or... Or things like that, but you know we never we never hid. We always stood up. You know we always come out fighting, and uh, I'm so I'm so proud for the boys and, and my staff that they, and and you know he, even for me, I, I, this would have haunted me for the rest of my life if this club went down under my stewardship. And uh, I'm I'm glad we delivered, and I'm glad we delivered in the fashion that we did at home in front of our own supporters. That's how we planned it. Yeah, to to do it to do it this way against against quality opposition and showed what we'd done. It is important that we took care of our own business. You know, we didn't want to rely on anyone or wait on anyone. And, you know, I'll thank my good friend Lee Bradbury for, you know, he did nick an equaliser just in case. But fortunately, we didn't need it. And it is important that we took care of our own business. And we continue to build on this on this, this form that we're showing. You know, we're going, we're going toe-to-toe with the best again now. And, um, you know, the boys can take a lot of heart from that. How special does it feel, given that, you know, you've been here as a player done incredible things as a player now to do it as a manager as well you know it's the minimal step now but it's still an achievement nonetheless it's a, it's a massive achievement and uh, some other people might underestimate it. I won't um, it was a, it was a, it was it was the be all and end all and I haven't had too much time to reflect on it because the way we work it's always what next what next it's like we always look forward we always you know we're very diligent in our preparation and the way we're going to do things so I might afford myself a little sit back tonight and a, and a you know, I might have a, a good night's sleep tonight and uh, take a big breath. And um, for the first time, the, the pressure's off and the tension's off. Um, but knowing me and my staff, it will probably be full steam ahead for preparations for Maidenhead and, and next season. So, uh, no, re- really excited about what, what, what we can start to build here now and really excited about the experiences that our group's been through and how that will make them better going forward. Let's okay. touch on that, obviously, you know, with National League security secured now. Does that give us these next three games to decide on next season and play with a bit more freedom and hope to see what we can do next year? Yeah, I think it's the first time we're going to play with the shackles off and a little bit of pressure off, but the DNA and the, and the, the things that we expect from our players still have to be there. You know, hard work, awareness, body language, communication. We've got to keep building on those things we hold to, so dear to us. And, um, yeah, like I said, I haven't allowed myself to think too far ahead. We never do, so uh, we'll have to take a deep breath and... Uh, you know, look, 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 look forward. Because it's a young squad, isn't it? And obviously, given the hardships they've had this year, this can only make them better players and better people, as you mentioned as well, and hopefully better older shot players moving forwards. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know the facts and the figures as well as I do. Like, how many times have we had? Have we been the youngest team we play against? I mean, every game. Have we ever had? A, have we ever been older than the other team? I don't know. I don't think we have. You know, we checked it a while back, didn't we? And we were, um, we're a young group, and. Um, we always believed in the work. We always believed in them, and they've they've come through. And uh, like I said, I, I'm repeating myself all the time, saying how, how proud I am of them because because it's difficult. It is. It's been a difficult season, and uh, like I said this could have been a hell of a lot worse. This, you know, having to beat Notts County to stay up. You know, not many people would have probably backed us, but those boys have delivered again. The post-match celebrations as well, brilliant, wasn't it? It felt everyone was together in older shot red and blue. Yeah, and I, I think it was it was an utter relief for me. You know, utter relief that we've we've managed to secure our safety. That was the, the be all and end all. And now I think we've done it in exciting fashion. I think we've, there's a sign of things to hopefully to come. And we've got to just try and try and build on that now. And uh, these, these last three games will be good that we can play with the shackles off and express ourselves. And uh, like I said, full 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 steam ahead for the for the next game. And um, yeah, look forward to to continue to build. Men had a way a quick turnaround. You know, not too far away from us, and hopefully a big away fans as expected as well. Yeah, hopefully it's a local one and they'll, they'll get behind us. Look at the difference, you know, they make to us. And uh, I always, you know, take my hat off to them for staying with us because it's been, it's been tough, but they, they stayed with us, they rallied with us, they pushed us when we needed it. You know, we never gave up on each other. You know, it's this nature. Some people are half, glass half empty, some are half full. And, it, you know, it's difficult in the bad times, but we never ducked. We, we, we continued to rally. And um, like I said, these, these last three games... I hope to see them all out 
in uh, at Maidenhead and uh, and cheer us on again because of quite such a tight turnaround. You know, energy is going to be low, legs are going to be tired after a performance like that. But when the crowd get behind you, they push you and chase you. They've done that today. They've done that today. They pushed us all the way, the fans. You know, recovery runs when you've got nothing left in the tank. Shuffling, the work that we had to do against it. That was the, the lads' heart and endeavour and determination, but it's also the adrenaline they were getting from our own fans. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Shots!